Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Coolit Eliminator CPU Cooler. What's included in this particular kit is the user's manual, all the materials needed for installation of the water block on the CPU and mounting the unit in the case and the main unit. This water cooling kit comes completely configured so there's no need for any extra installation like many other water cooling kits. It's comprised of a CPU water block which is all copper and has a smooth base, tubing with wire wrapped around it to prevent the tubes from kinking, three small reservoirs, three thermoelectric coolers, a small pump, heat sink, and a 92 millimeter fan. How this kit differs from others is it uses thermoelectric coolers. Thermoelectric coolers are most commonly known as Piltier coolers. So what's a Piltier cooler? A Piltier cooler is a cooler that implements a Piltier module. The Piltier module is typically a small and thin device which produces what's called a Piltier effect. The Piltier effect occurs when a current is passed through two dissimilar metals or semiconductors N-type and P-type that are connected to each other at two junctions. The current drives a transfer of heat from one junction to the other. One junction cools off while the other heats up. This effect was observed in 1834 by Jean Piltier, 13 years after Seebeck's initial discovery. Basically, it's a charged ceramic substrate that pumps heat from one side to the other. One side is hot and the other side is cold. In this case, the hot surface of the Piltiers are against the heat sink, which is cooled with the 92 millimeter fan. The cold side is against the small reservoirs, which cool the liquid inside. This cool liquid is then circulated through the tubes and the water block by the pump, in turn keeping the CPU cool. The thermal control module, which is located here, is the brains behind the system. The fan, Piltier's pump, and a small LED are connected into it, and here is the power supply connection. It also has a low, medium, and high fan setting. Installation is very easy. First attach the water block and then mount the main unit inside the case at the back where a 120 millimeter fan would normally be installed. Finally, have a listen to the pump and the 92 millimeter fan at the low speed. Medium. and high. This is Coolit's second thermoelectric cooler. The first one was the Freezone. I video reviewed that product and thought it was excellent. This one though, the Eliminator, I like even better because they incorporate everything into the main unit and you can also manually adjust the fan speed. Performance results also with this one is excellent. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care.
old side is against the small reservoirs reservoirs on the market right now this one the element here and they also have another one which right now I can't remember because I'm going insane also with this one you can manually control the feet of the speed of the fan the speed of the fan the speed the speed Rodney the speed of the fan